Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today we will be looking at a goblin of legendary proportions as we check out one of the great terrors of the old world. Tune in to find out who that is, coming up next. And now riding out of the shadow of antiquity we have Grom the Paunch of Misty Mountain. Now I bought this Grom the Paunch of Misty Mountain model kit as a last chance to buy model back just before um, I think the second Age of Sigmar came out. Games Workshop was selling a lot of these old metal discontinued models and I managed to pick up Grom from there. Now this model was sold as one of the legendary figures for Games Workshop at the time just before they got rid of all these old models and he did come with a set of war scrolls however there was no points cost and unfortunately he didn't come in the original box which looks like this instead you get the white box as what i showed before and inside you get one side with the great big games workshop base in it and grom and his little wolf riding chariot on the other side here you get the wolves again and some more components underneath. You do get the large round black base for Warhammer Age of Sigmar, as well as the original three bases for the wolves. Here we have the wolves that drive the chariot for Grom the Paunch, and these are the original wolves that came out from Games Workshop in 1992, and although the detail is quite nice, they are not really the same wolves that Games Workshop has come up with in recent years in some of the other lines but still they have nice detailing and each one should have a slightly different head. This one's got the barking kind of vicious head, as does this one. And you can see the nice detail in the fur on these little creatures, but again, not quite what uh, we are used to seeing in this modern standard. Here we have the pieces that make up our chariot and as you can see, most of them are white metal, which means you'll need your crazy glue and possibly drill some pins in this just to hold everything together. And then you get these very nice plastic wheels for the chariot. And it is nice to actually give you an extra set here because this chariot really only uses two. Now what we have is the yokes for our wolves, as well as the center brace. And there should be a center yoke here as well for the third wolf. And then this nice chariot itself for Grom and his little driver guy to sit in and a nice little skull with horns. So as we bring these up to the camera lens, you can see all the nice detail work on here. Again, very nicely done. The white metal is a little bit tricky to work with. I do believe that's the front of the chariot, actually, with that skull there. So then this yoke should fit somehow in here. Unfortunately, they never gave any instructions with this model. In fact, there, I think that's right. You can see the nice wood grain into the white metal and then same with our little yokes here. Now a lot of white metal have these little flake bits that come out sort of like uh, flash and you can easily remove those with your hobby blades and some sandpaper and again on our wheels we have the nice wood grain and lucky for me I've got an extra set. Our final two models are ground the paunch of Misty Mountain with his mighty war axe and his driver, Niblet, who helps move the chariot along with this rod to poke the wolves. So let's take a look at Grom first. And you can see his great mighty war axe. Grom is designed back in the day when they had a lot of character in the goblin models. And uh, there's his wolf cloak on the back. Again, very beautifully done. Unfortunately, though, he is now out of total play in Warhammer Age of Sigmar version 3. But again, we can always build the model just as a diorama piece. As for Niblet, he's looking great too. The rod does seem to be curved a bit, but that's uh, sort of the issue with white metal. Very easy to bend it and to shape it but uh, it can also have trouble holding its shape from, again, being bent every time you touch it or whatnot. Niblet is wearing a nice little cloak here. It does look very much like a night goblin. So again, excellent work from Games Workshop of old. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that video of Grom the Paunch, a great legendary night goblin chieftain warrior. 
And if you've built that model before, don't forget to share it on our Facebook page. And I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. Check out the models that we have currently available at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Don't forget to join us on our Wargaming Nights Thursday at Monster Hobbies at 7 o'clock p.m. Let us know if you're coming in advance. That would be nice. Maybe we could pair you up with somebody. And until next time, everybody, happy conquering.